Hey, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how can you plan for virtual network in Azure. It is a very good idea for you to go and learn Azure AZ 104, which is Azure administration, to understand the basics of virtual networking and many other concepts if you have not done so far. First, let's review the fundamental elements of virtual networking. Let's understand address space. So when you are creating a VNet, you must specify a custom private IP address space using public and private RFC addresses. Azure assigns resources in a virtual network in a private IP address from the address space that you assign. The next element you need to understand is subnets. Subnets enable you to segment the virtual network into one or more subnetworks and allocate a portion of virtual network's address space to each subnet. You can then deploy Azure resources in a specific subnet. Just like in a traditional network, subnets allow you to segment your VNet address spaces into subnets that are appropriate for the organizational internal network. Then we have regions. VNet is scoped to a single region or location. However, multiple virtual networks from different regions can be connected using virtual network pairing. Then we have subscription. VNet is scoped to a subscription. So you can implement multiple virtual networks within each Azure subscription and Azure region. Now let's understand the naming and regions. All Azure resources have a name. The name must be unique within a scope that may vary from each resource type. And all Azure resources are created in Azure region and subscription. A resource can only be created in a virtual network that exists in the same region and subscription as a resource. You can, however, connect virtual network that exists in different subscription and regions. Now let's understand segmentation. You can create multiple virtual network per subscription and per region. And you can create multiple subnets within each virtual network as well. Let us go through some of the considerations. The first consideration is, do any organizational security requirement exist for isolating traffic into separate virtual network? If you connect virtual network, you can implement a network virtual appliance, such as a firewall, to control the flow of traffic between these virtual networks. Second consideration is, do any organizational requirements exist for isolating virtual network into separate subscriptions or regions? Another question you might ask is, how many network interfaces and private IP address do you require in a virtual network? So there are limits to the number of network interfaces and public IP addresses that you can have within a virtual network. Another consideration is, do you want to connect the virtual network to another virtual network or on-premises network? Another question you might ask is, do you have any organizational administration requirements for resources in different virtual network? If so, you might separate resources into separate virtual network to simplify permission assignments to individuals in your organization or to assign different policies to different virtual networks. Let's look into network security. You can filter network traffic to and from resources in virtual network using network security groups and network virtual appliances. You can then control how Azure routes traffic from subnets. And you can also limit who in your organization can work with resources in virtual networks. Please note that you can view sample design of implementing a perimeter network, also known as DMC, between Azure and the internet using a network virtual appliance. Azure creates several default routes for outbound traffic from internet. You can override Azure default routing by creating a route table and associating it to a subnet. Now let's understand how connectivity works within Azure. You can connect a virtual network to other virtual network using virtual network pairing or to your on-prem network using an Azure VPN gateway. So let's understand the peering VPN gateway and name resolution. So what is peering? When you use virtual network peering, the virtual network can be in the same or different supported Azure regions. 
the virtual network can be in the same or different Azure subscriptions. An event subscription belonging to different Azure Active Directory tenants. What is VPN Gateway? You can use Azure VPN Gateway to connect to a virtual network to your on prem network using a side to side VPN or using a dedicated connection with Azure Express Route. Another mechanism is using name resolution. Resources in one virtual network cannot resolve the name of resources in a peer virtual network using Azure built in DNS. To resolve names in a peer virtual network, deploy your own DNS server or use Azure DNS private domains. Resolving names between resources in virtual network and on prem network also require you to deploy your own DNS server. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about network addressing and name resolution. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.